Kids as young as 12 can now start getting their boosters, and it comes at a time when parents are increasingly worried about the impact of COVID on our kids. Understandably so. Dr. Scott Hadlin, a chief of the Division of Adolescent and Young Adult Medicine at Mass General Hospital for Children. Dr. Hadlin, thanks so very much for being with us on this snowy Friday morning. You've seen what this virus can do to kids firsthand. What do we know about the kind of protection that vaccination and boosters can offer? Thanks so much. Um, vaccination boosters are really the key right now. In the era of Omicron, we're seeing infection rates just skyrocket right now. And we're at a point where thousands of kids are being admitted to hospitals every day in the United States. But one thing that we're seeing is that the kids that are getting admitted are those that aren't vaccinated. It's very clear that getting vaccinated, getting at least that two dose series is helping keep kids out of hospitals, helping keep kids from having severe infections and boosters. Um, we have data that suggests that boosters are helping kids from getting infected in the first place. So I cannot recommend them more strongly. We want all kids five and up to get vaccinated and we want kids who are 12 and up to get boosted because this is the single best way to keep our kids safe. Yeah, it's a pretty nerve wracking time for those of us with kids who aren't old enough to get vaccinated. We've seen the headlines about rising cases of pediatric COVID. You yourself have talked about the dramatic spike in cases in Massachusetts, even with mostly mild symptoms. So why is it so important for parents to keep on taking this seriously? Look, my, my perspective here is not just as a pediatrician, but also as a parent. In fact, a parent of kids who are too young to get vaccinated because they're both under five. So I absolutely empathize with families that are struggling through this right now. Um, but there are some families who I know are feeling a little bit burnt out because this has been going on for so long. The reason that we need to keep our eye on the ball here is that there are things that we can do, right? So when we get our kids vaccinated, we get them protected. Um, and for younger kids, if we exercise caution and we do the things that we know have worked since the beginning of this pandemic, um, like keeping ourselves um, masked when we're indoors, um, having the adults around kids get vaccinated, um, these are the sorts of interventions that will keep our kids safe. And it's critical that we do this because, you know, again, as a dad and a pediatrician, I promise you, you don't want your kid to be one of the 3,000 or more who are admitted every day across this country. All right, uh, doctor, thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Scott Hadlin with Mass General, we want to thank you for joining us on this morning with uh, some really great, important information. We appreciate that.